Yo guys, welcome to a new video. Today I will show you 10 mistakes you should never do. Let's go after the intro. So, this will be a long video, therefore I will make things short and will start right with the first common mistake. Mistake number 1, never use thin paper. I see so many people on social media using this inferior paper and I really don't understand why. I use them as well and I can tell you that the paper I'm using right now, which you can see on the right, is miles ahead. The paper I'm using is 250 grams thick and really high quality. The paper on the left is usually around 70 grams thick and as you can see has way less quality. It's almost transparent if you compare it to the thicker paper and if you lift both paper sheets up you can see the huge difference as well. It's almost like you tear the paper sheets apart just by touching. Okay, don't exaggerate talk art. But for real now, I am using the thicker paper for years now and I can tell you from experience that you should with no doubt use the thicker ones. But there is more. To show you that, I will use magic. I should be a magician. So why I'm just an artist? Oh, it's the same thing, I forgot. So we don't want to waste too many sheets today, as this is just a demonstration. But as you can see, the thin paper is already rolling, which is so annoying while drawing. The thick sheets on the other hand are always tight. I will do a quick sketch on the thin paper now, so I can show you what I mean. Okay guys, it's a really quick sketch of Luffy, so I don't want to read in the comments like Hey Tolga, this is driving so bad, but anyways, we will ink this now and then I will show you what I mean. So, now, as usually after inking, we will erase the pencil lines. The dangerous thing about it, when you use a paper sheet which is too thin is, that you will crumble the paper very easily. You have to pull tight the paper, but even then, the risk is very high that you will crumble it, as you can see here. You have to be very careful and controlled while doing this. And once your drawing is crumbled, there is no way back, unless you have the time stone. Very funny, right? I will show you now the same process, but on a thicker paper sheet. Let's go! Now I will erase the pencil lines on the thicker paper the same way I did on the thinner paper sheet. As you can see, I am erasing with no problems, no crumbling, no fear of messing up the drawing, just pure relaxation. That's why I love thick, high quality paper. There are a few more advantages and disadvantages, but we will come to them later. Mistake number 2. Never use a dark pencil. Now I will show you the disadvantages of using the pencil which is too dark. I will do the split drawing of Vegeta. On the left I will use a pencil which I always use, which is more bright and on the right I will use the darker pencil. Okay, very smooth, it's a red feeling using it and it's clearly visible. Not too dark, not too bright. And as you can see, it's very easy to erase, it works just perfect for me. Now we will use a darker pencil. Alright, 
very weird drawing one half of the face and then the other, but you can see the huge difference. The darker pencil is obviously more visible, but also harder to erase. It's also very easy to smear, as I'll show you here. The brighter pencil on the other hand is smearing very little, so I would always use a medium dark pencil. Let's ink this right now, so we can try out the erasing. One more thing is that you can easily differentiate between the brighter pencil and the ink, which is a little harder to do with the darker pencil, but the erasing works for both of course. The darker pencil has just a few disadvantages. Mistake number 3. Never draw without guidelines. If you're experienced in drawing, it's not a big problem to draw without any guidelines. But if you are a beginner, they are necessary. They are very important for the right proportions and for the symmetry of the face. I will do a quick sketch of Naruto by not using any guidelines to show you what I mean. Let's go! I actually did pretty good, but I do have a lot of experience in drawing, therefore I'm used to draw like that. But drawing that way makes it just harder for you. You will need more time and you will do more mistakes. Now I will show you the exact same process but with guidelines. I will just do one horizontal and one vertical line, so I know where to position the face features. done and I think it's way better drawn. Just a tip guys, always use guidelines to make it easier for you. You will do less mistakes and your sketch will look more professional. Mistake number 4, never use a pen which is too thick. So now I will show you how to use the wrong pen. Therefore we will ink Naruto. On the left side we will use a 0.5mm pen which is very thick and we will ink the right side with the 0.05mm pen which is very thin. The reason why you shouldn't use a pen which is too thick is that it's just too thick to produce accurate and clean lines. If your outlines are too thick your drawing will look very childish and amateur like. Look at the lines I did and you know what I'm talking about. And on the other hand, if we use the thin pen, the lines are way more accurate and clean. Your drawing will look way better automatically. It's perfect for small details and you can also add more layers of ink into your drawing if you like. In my opinion, the right side look way more professional and I like doing the inking that way. Mistake number 5, never ink too fast. To demonstrate this, I will use the first sketch of Naruto. To show you that fast inking is very unproductive, I will go as fast as I can. 
So, the inking is done, and as you can see, it's not accurate and clean at all. Of course, it's not that bad, but if you ink that way, you will do mistakes, that's for sure. I did this in 3 minutes and 30 seconds, and that's way too fast. That's not how an artist works. You have to take your time while inking. Instead of doing this in 3 minutes, take yourself 30 minutes to do a proper inking. Because mistakes are permanent in terms of inking. You cannot erase the ink. Your drawing is garbage when you do the inking too fast. So take your time and do it like a pro. Mistake number six, never use Copic marker on normal paper. That's actually the biggest mistake you can make while using Copic Chaw markers. So Copic markers are alcohol based, so you have to use paper which is made for alcohol based markers. Otherwise, you will just waste this expensive ink. Another disadvantage of this paper is that you can use the ink on just one specific side. You cannot color on both sides for some reason. If you know the reason, let me know that down in the comments guys. So I'm just using three different orange tones to show you how they blend. It's not bad, but it's not the full potential of these markers. Now to the thicker paper, which I'm in love with. We will use the same colors. I think the difference is huge. The colors are way stronger, the blending works way smoother, and the feeling of drawing on paper which is more quality is amazing. That way you can use the full potential of these markers. Now we will test them on the normal paper which is not made for alcohol markers. First of all, it just feels so wrong using these markers on this paper sheet. Of course the colors are there, but you can feel how the paper sucks the ink out of the marker. It's just a waste of ink and your drawing will not be as good as usually anyways. So don't even try this out. Again, the thicker paper wins. Mistake number 7. Never use the dark color tone first. To show you this one, I will use this drawing of Vegeta again. What do I mean by saying that you should never use the darkest color tone first? For that, I will color the eyebrow and the iris black. Now, if you use a brighter color tone after using a darker one, there is a big risk of smearing, especially if you use low quality supply. When I add the shadow to the eye now, it can happen that you blend the bright color tone with the dark one by mistake and that will smear. And as I'm using high quality markers now, there is not a big mess. Actually it's almost not visible on camera, but you can see it in person. Same thing when I want to color the skin. If you're not careful, you can mess up your drawing. Never do it that way. First, color the ear for example and then use a darker color tone for the hair. That way you cannot smear anything and your drawing stays clean. Just as simple as that. Don't do stupid mistakes which can ruin your hard work. Mistake number 8. Never paint over the ink. To demonstrate that, I will just use the other half of Fujita. What I mean is that you never should overpaint the ink because of your laziness. That's very dangerous because it can smear the ink and on the other hand, it's very unprofessional to color that way. Rather try to color around the ink so you reduce the risk of smearing. Don't be lazy, take your time and do it properly. Just use the tip very careful and do the coloring very clean and smooth like a pro. And
mistake number nine never start with the darkest color tone when you do the shading well i really don't know if someone is doing the shading that way but that's very unproductive i will color the hair of vegeta to show you what i mean if you do the shading never start with the darkest color tone this leads to mistakes you are missing the overview you don't eat the dessert first when I am about to do the shading, I pick out the right color tones and start with the brightest one, not the darkest one. That's very unnatural. You usually don't know exactly where to do the shades before you colored it with the brighter color tone first. Let me show you the natural and to my opinion the right way of shading on the chest of Vegeta. Using the brightest tone first and then I work my way up to the darkest color tone. Make it easy and do it that way guys. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and Mistake number 10, never draw if you don't want to. Well, I am guilty on that. I did this so many times and it ruined so many drawings of mine just because I had the feeling of I had to draw now. If you know this feeling as well, let me know that down below guys. It's a very unproductive behavior and if you draw that way, you are way under your potential and you just have to do mistakes. Just have fun while drawing, don't force yourself and just do what you love. So otherwise, you will produce only drawings like this Luffy instead of clean drawings like this Vegeta. And these are the 10 mistakes you should never do. First, never use thin paper. Second, never use a dark pencil. Third, never draw without guidelines. Fourth, never use a pen which is too thick. Fifth, never ink too fast. Six, never use Copic markers on normal paper. Seven, never use the dark color tone first. Eight, never paint over the ink. Ninth, never start with the darkest color tone when you do the shading, last but not least, never draw if you don't want to. This video was a hell of work guys, I hope you appreciate it. If this was helpful for you, give this video a big thumb up to support my channel. And also share this video with a friend who needs a little help at drawing. And if you are new on my channel, make sure to subscribe, more videos will come. Thanks for watching guys, that's it for today and I will see you on the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay fit, be a good person, be you and always remember, you are the designer of your own life. Thank mm -hmm. you.